Hello YouTube. I am back with another video. Today I'm going to make um shrimp teriyaki. Yeah. I was well I wanted to do stir fry, but they didn't have stir fry, so I said I'm gonna just make put my own stuff in here. So I had got a bag of shrimp. Um got this stuff in Walmart. I got a bag of shrimp. I got um some mixed bell peppers and I got broccoli. A bag of some broccoli. I'm just gonna cut it all up real quick. Mess it off. Break it up before I um I normally just break it up and then put uh put it in some salt water for a few minutes. It's just um there's just some shrimp here. These are where I had some a little bit, just a little bit that was in the freezer already. So I'm gonna make them. Some and then I season them with um, some obey just to give it just for the I, obey just brings out the flavor to me. So here I have my brown gravy. I um I'm not, I I told like I said the store don't have everything. I normally use the jar gravy, so I normally just mix some in just because I don't like the teriyaki to be too the teriyaki to be too sweet. So I mix a little bit of um gravy in it to break down some of the flavor of it. And I'm gonna use the powder um gravy. I've never tried it with the powder gravy before. Like I said, most of the stuff in this recipe I've never tried before. So. We'll see how it turn out. Okay, so stay tuned. Alright, so 
you know, my broccoli, I mean, my gravy is not completely ready yet, but I can start putting everything else in the pot with it. You know, just follow the directions on the pack, but if you're going to use, if you have to use the pack, I prefer to use the um, jar just because it's just easier to me. So, I wanted to put that in. And I, oh, this is the teriyaki I got. I usually, I normally do buy the teriyaki sauce, but I usually get, um, the, um, pf chain one so i don't know again i don't know how this tastes so i hope this is good so but i, I would prefer to get the pf chain one because i've tasted that one before and i like it so now i'm going to start i'm going to put my broccoli in the pot first because i'm going to the broccoli cook a little long. I think I'm going to put a little bit more water in there. Then I'm going to pour my teriyaki in. That's how I pour the whole thing in there. I'm gonna put my peppers in. I'm not gonna put my shrimp in yet. I'm gonna wait till the food is pretty much done. All right, so we're gonna let that marinate. It's, it's on low. We're just going to let that cook on low for a little bit and then come back. My main thing is I don't like my broccoli real hard, so that's what's going to take the time, the broccoli. Alright, it's pretty much done. I just wanted to thicken up a little bit, so I'm going to let it cook a little bit longer. But my broccoli is soft like I like it. Everything is just soaked in. But I want I want my sauce to thicken up a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't have put more water. <laughs> well, we'll see. I'm going to let it cook a little, like five more minutes to see if it's thicken up some. If not, I'll probably put a little bit of flour or something. You know, flour will make it thicken a little bit. All right, we'll be back. I didn't put the shrimp in yet either. I'm waiting for it to thicken up first. All right. All right, I'll put the shrimp in. I just put the shrimp in. Um... I'm going to let it sit in here for about five minutes. I mean, I'm going to let it stay on for about another five minutes. And then I'm going to turn it on. I don't want my shrimp to stay on too long because they're, they're pretty much already done. I just want them to get warm. So, all right, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.